If you've ever watched a hummingbird, they are truly astounding creatures to watch, uh, flitting around very, very quickly, uh, beating their wings faster, sometimes 70 times per second on average. And some researchers at the University of North Carolina at Ch Chapel Hill and Vanderbilt University put their heads together to try and figure out how this works. How are they able to fly in this very unique way? Um, and they made a couple discoveries. So this looks pretty crazy. Uh, so they have an upstroke and a downstroke when they're beating their wings. Uh, during the downstroke, tiny vortices of air are formed around the wings that combine into one large vortex. See that there? Uh, creating an area of low pressure underneath the wing. Air then floods in to equalize the pressure, generating the lift needed to maintain the hover. Uh, so they also have another trick up their sleeve, though. Right. So basically what they did is the researchers, think of motion capture. Mm -hmm. They painted non-toxic, with non-toxic paint. They very painted. to point that out. Yes, very important. They painted on a ruby-throated hummingbird, a female. They painted dots on their wings. Then they got a 3D model of what that would look. And using a fluid dynamics model, they saw what actually happened, which was kind of a mystery. Like you said, on average it's 70, but can go up to 200 flaps per mm -hmm. second which is astonishing and only comparable with or comparable with um, insects, right? insects so uh, dragonflies mosquitoes and house flies can do this they can hover and then they can sharply move from one side to another back and forth and up and down so what hummingbirds do is they when they generate positive lift on the downward stroke mm -hmm. and they generate negative lift on the upward stroke. So they're doing both at the same simultaneously. Well, most birds would not really be generating that exactly. on the upward stroke at exactly. all. Exactly. They wouldn't. There's there's at least 30% more force for them when they do when they generate the negative lift. And the way they uh, filmed that bird was they used a uh, 1000 frame per second camera mm -hmm. which generated that really interesting uh, well helped generate that interesting footage we just saw of the bird. Uh, with the foofing air vortices all over the place. And what this will do is it'll help engineers as well figure out new models of uh, very effective aerodynamics, mm -hmm. you know, so for planes in the future and jets and stuff. What it'll do is basically it will aid them in better creating and designing these More models. More efficient flying machines. More efficient flying machines. The hummingbirds are really interesting to watch when they fly, but if we could apply that to technology, what could we do? Let me know below in the comments, and please be sure to subscribe.